Thanks for what? Mm. <laughs> I'm Matthew with Gargistic, here to talk about another Gargistic product. Uh, what we have here today is a very, very cool modification that can really help the handling of your car. So what these are, are uh, mounting points for adjustable end links. Now these were found on E30 M3s from the factory, but not on your regular E30. Later on E36, E36s had them as well. So this is a very common modification for your E30. And basically what these do are make it so that you can run an adjustable end link, which we can customize and make different lengths, um, or you can run the stock E30 M3 one. These get welded on your strut towers, and then you have the ability to actually use a adjustable end link. Now, you might think, well, why do I need an adjustable end link? So there is a reason for that. Basically, when you lower your car, your sway bars now, now actually point the wrong way. And basically, so if my arms are, are the sway bars, the way they're connected, when you lower your vehicle, that point still stays where it's at. So when you're actually in a turn, it actually takes a little bit longer before they actually be, be, become useful again. So you actually lose some uh, efficient uh, use of the sway bar by actually lowering your vehicle. Um, so what you gotta do is actually bring those ends back down. And how you do that is by adjusting the end links to bring them back down in their usable range. Ideally, you're gonna want the ends of the sway bars to be parallel with the ground. Um, and that's what's gonna get them to actually become useful again. So that way when you're actually, the car is actually you know, leaning, it's now the sway bar actually doesn't, there's not dead space before it does anything. It actually starts to do its job right away. So these can be a really great modification. So these ones do require welding. Uh, we do offer the service in our Westminster, California location. So if you need that, you can please uh, give us a call or an email and we'll be able to do that. These are also a very, very useful modification if you're running our sway bar spacers. Um, in the case you're running a dual overhead cam motor, you need more exhaust clearance um, or whatnot. Basically, these lower the sway bar, which further uh, require the need for adjustable end links. Um, for more information about our sway bar spacers, that can be found in the link below. Thanks for watching.